Stop that coach! Show up to this. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Take the damn thing. You crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. No, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey, what are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? 
Well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> You ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. 